Hi everyone, it's Jill, and I am coming on just to share um, some cards I made using a stamp set that I purchased from the Not Too Shabby Shop. Um, NotTooShabbyShop.com. It's Jamie's store. Hi, Jamie. Um, Jamie has a great rewards program uh, for shopping with her, and she also offers free shipping on orders over 60. So um, just to share that with you, this is what I ordered from her. I, when I saw the stamp set by Pink and Maine, I had to get it. Um, it's just adorable. So this is what I ordered from her. And um, I just love the little faces of these critters. And the set is called Sketched Easter. And so using that stamp and die set, I created um, three cards that I thought I would just come on and share with you tonight. I don't have all the supplies that I used to make the cards. Um, this is a stamp set that's been retired from CC Designs that Amy R. designed. Uh, it's a sentiment set of Amy R's that's no longer available. The little heart, um, this die here, the heart scallop, the inverted scallop heart, is from Pretty Pink Posh, and it was released on their previous release, not their current release that's just coming out. Um, but it's definitely available if you're interested. And then, of course, I stamped the little lamb. Um, I stamped it actually on some pink um, paper that fades to white. So the face of the lamb is pink, and then as you come down, she's more white at the bottom. And then I just did a little Copic coloring, and this is a little bit of some um, some yarn that I had that I tied around her neck. And then this heart behind here is a prim heart from uh, Spellbinders. So, And then the papers on here are from Irala Miha Shop on Etsy, and then the little flowers are from Hobby Lobby. And then I also used an embossing folder um, that I had on on hand with some hearts on it. So that's the first card. And they're all similar cards. This one's green. Um, I used an embossing folder that kind of makes it look like old paper in the background. And uh, a giant tag die, um, which I think is from, oh gosh, I don't remember where that's from, Scrap Happiness or something. Oh, anyway. <laughs> Um, but you could use any tag die. And then I stamped um, the little lamb on some polka dot beige paper and colored in with a white gel marker and some Copics. And uh, the little bird is stamped on some green gingham paper and then I colored the bird with pink and green and a little bit of beige. And then I used the same sentiment, just with a little heart this time, and uh, just added some trim and uh, this little heart banner again. So just really simple. Um, basic card. Uh, and then this is the last one. On this one I um, cut out a scallop, an inverted scallop circle, and then in the inverted scallop circle I layered a panel of heart embossed vellum. Okay, and then I tied a ribbon around um, the edge of the card, and you can see the vellum on the inside. Now if you don't like the way this looks, you could put a colored piece of cardstock, and then that color would show through. But for now, so far, I've just left it this way. But I was looking at it with um, different colors behind it, and I might add a color when I actually decide to mail this out. So there's definitely, you can do different things depending on what you want to do. You also could just put a, p a panel of the beige over this so that it doesn't show. So it just depends on how, um, you know, what your preference is. But um, this one, again, I stamped it on a pattern paper and then colored, and then I paper pieced the little flower here with this same um, gingham paper. And uh, so just really simple cards, you guys. So I just wanted to come on and share those with you guys. And then I also um, I placed an order um, with the knot. Uh, oh, wait. No, no. This one's with Butterfly Reflections, Inc., and this is Vanessa's store, and it's ButterflyReflectionsInc.com. And I just wanted to share uh, the things that I ordered from them. Um, this is the stamp set by Amy R. that's retired from CC Designs that I used for that little just a note to say hello. Just if you wanted to see it to see if it's something you have in your stash. Um, but I wanted to show you what I ordered from Butterfly Reflections, Inc. too. Um, the main thing I wanted to show were these little hearts, and this is by Pink and Main again, which is the same company as the stamp set with the lamb. And um, these are their glossy rose gold hearts. And what I liked about these when I received them is, 
for those of you that like shabby pink, this is just the lightest pink color, and I don't know if it'll come across well on screen. Um, it'll sometimes, depending on the light, it looks silver, but these are very, very pale pink, and they're really pretty, and you might be able to see it better in the dots than you can in the hearts, but I'm holding it against something pink so you can kind of tell. But anyway, they're called rose gold, and they're absolutely gorgeous. So I thought I'd share those in case anyone who loves pink might really like to get some of those. And then um, I had shared some sympathy cards uh, on my last video, and the set that I had stamped with was retired, and there was someone on Instagram was asking about it. So I just thought I would share this. I ordered a couple other things from uh, Vanessa's shop, Butterfly Reflections, Inc., and uh, uh, this is one of the things that I ordered. This is from Avrielle's new release. And I send a lot of support cards out to people that are fighting um, cancer and just other types of illnesses, um, mainly because, you know, I went through cancer with my husband. And once you've gone through something like that, your empathy, um, you know, for people that are going through tough times, I think the biggest thing we can do is support them. And, and it's just wonderful to come home from a long day of treatment and have a card in the mail or a bag of cookies on the porch or, you know, whatever you can do. It doesn't really matter what you do. It's just knowing that they're, that you're thinking of them as they're walking through tough times. Anyway, this um, stamp set really resonated with me. It's called um, You've Got This. And what I like about it is just all the different sentiments it has um, that allow you to make cards for people that are just having a hard time. Um, so anyway, I wanted to share that and uh, in case the person that was asking can't get the My Sentiments Exactly stamp set from my last video um, because I, you know, it could be retired. This one's available right now. So, and then I ordered two other sets from um, Butterfly Reflections, Inc. One of them is this Avriel set. Um, this one is called Cake for All. And what I love about this set, set is these little sentiments fit on the front of the cake here. So you can put your happy birthday, you can put happy anniversary, it has happy retirement, get well soon, happy graduation. And then it also has these little candles um, that you can stamp. And it has this sentiment that says, hope your birthday is lit. And uh, lit is a word that's being <laughs> used a lot, especially by the 20 20 year old crowd um, right now in my family anyway. So I really liked that sentiment and I wanted to get this um, for some birthdays for my nieces that are coming up. So I got that set and then I finally broke down and got this Concord and Ninth set with the girl that you can dress in her little scarf and mittens and color up. And I just thought this was the cutest set and I've had my eye on it. So I had to get it and uh, I, I have some ideas of how you could even color this with some more springy time colors and, and have it work for spring cards too, maybe with some different things with it um, as accessories. So anyway, um, those are the things that I uh, purchased um, from Vanessa Shop Butterfly Reflections, Inc., including the, the beautiful little um, glossy rose gold hearts. And then I shared the cards. And then the only other, the other thing I was going to share is um, I tried to go out to Tuesday morning to get some of the Maggie Holmes things that everybody has been getting. Um, I had some idea for some cards using the Bloom um, chipboard, and I, I was going to try and get some Bloom chipboard. But anyway, I went out there, and of course there was nothing, because there my I don't know, my Tuesday morning, I probably just don't go enough, you guys. I only go like once every few months. and uh, But one thing that I found that I decided to purchase, um, and this was an investment, definitely, it was $19.99, but it's a huge roll of this fabric that in all different patterns, all shabby colors, turquoise and pinks, which are my favorite, and light greens, and um, it's just a ton of different patterns. And it's been cut in this like two inch strip that's already been, um, uh, what do you call it? Like pinked on the edges so that it doesn't um, fray too badly. And I had had this idea, um, I was making a wreath, you know, touching up an Easter wreath to be to get ready to put it up the other day. And I was wishing I had an East, some Easter bows to add to it. So I saw that fabric in the store and I got this idea to actually create bows with it. I'm sorry, you guys, let me take a sip of water. I'm about to choke. <laughs> I 
Okay, that's better. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I wanted to show you what the bows look like. If you just cut a strip off of this fabric, um, and I haven't undone it completely, but I was going to try and show you what it looks like. It's just, it just is like a strip. So you just cut a piece off and it opens up, um, you know, because it's two ply like this. Okay, so you just cut a, I, I just cut a length off. You can see I, I cut a triangle when I did it um, to cut, you know, I cut it at an angle so that I would end up with these pretty tails on my bow. So anyway, um, for $20, I'm sure I will never run out of that. Like I said, it's kind of an investment, but you could also buy it and then share it with a bunch of friends. So um, anyway, I just thought this was a really neat way to make fabric bows, and I love putting fabric bows on my wreaths. And, you know, I don't know if you decorated, you know, any sort of Easter decorations, but this would be cute to add to different things. So I thought I would just come on and share that. Um, that was my my big find at uh, Tuesday morning. So I got that in a couple packs of craft envelopes, I think, um, and one packet of stickers. So... <laughs> I just, oh, oh, and I did get a couple embossing folders, too. I could share those really quick. I have them sitting right here. Um, so I did get uh, this embossing folder that has a birdcage, and I thought that might be cute to emboss a panel and then color the birdcage and then add a bird. So I'm going to try that because um, my mother-in-law loves birds, and she's a bird watcher. And then I got this one just because I thought it was so pretty. It almost looks like lace. I don't know. Oh, it's called Ornate Lace. So that's the name of it. I don't know if those code things help anymore, but there's the code if you want it. Um, and then the last one I got is this one here. And what I thought was neat about this one is um, if, you, if you needed a card quick, you could um, emboss this and then just stamp something in the center. So this one, does it have a name? This one's called English Rose. So, and these were only $2.99. And what's nice about these two is they're five by seven embossing folders. So they actually, you can use an A2 card in it, but it's also made to do a larger card, which is nice. So um, anyway, so I just thought I would um, show you, those are the things that I got at uh, Tuesday morning. And um, I uh, just, I guess that's about it. I was going to show you guys, I don't know if I ever shared this, but my friend Sherry, um, who's at Craft Pray Repeat, sent me this a while back. And it's a beautiful wood board, and uh, you can use this, you know, this side to maybe do projects on or show things. But I love it that it has my name on it, and I just have it propped against the wall. Um, and I look at it every day, and I it reminds me to pray for Sherry. Um, and to just to remember her. So hi, Sherry. Thank you for the gift. Um, oh, I guess that's about the all, all I have to share, except I am going to tip you guys up and I'll show you that I did add. Um, I have been working to get my craft room kind of redone a little bit. Um, so I did buy two bookshelves from Ikea. These are Billy bookcases. And I just finally got them put together this weekend and I also those little turquoise um, cubbies or plastic bins are also from Ikea so I ordered um, 16 of those for those shelves so that I can keep my papers and my stamps organized um, especially the stuff that I'm currently working with and uh, so then I was able to move my Copics over there and uh, some of my yarns and stuff but um, it also has a lot of the different things that people have made me over the years. Rhonda Coleman has made me a doll that's sitting there. And the other doll that she made me is actually sitting right back there on top of my little uh, drawer units. And uh, so I have a tag that uh, my friend Kat made, who's Lolly Thimble on YouTube and on Etsy. And... Uh, I have gifts from Elise up there. That cute little fox up on the top shelf next to my blessing sign is from Laura. Hi, Laura. Um, I have cards from Sybil and from P and from Lilibeth sitting up top. And I want to get the rest of my cards out and put them along the top of the bookcases. Um, I have a stamp up there that Susan Laverty gave me. Hi, Susan. And... Uh, 
I, I'm trying to look. I have things that uh, Vicki made me, that Marilyn made me. Um, Yorless has made me things. Um, although Yorless, I haven't brought yours out. Yours is still in the other room where a lot of the stuff was stored. Um, but what I tried to do is I, you know, I live in a 1922 cottage here in Seattle. And um, it is, a t you know, it's not a big house. It's, I think, 900 square feet on the main floor. And I'm down in the basement. And I finally decided I had an, I had one of those Calyx units, the cubes, but it just doesn't store that much. And they're pretty short. And I just, my room was just not functional. And uh, I had had my room set up differently. If you look at my old craft um, video, I had my room set up a lot differently. And then my son was getting older and everything and he really needed more space. So I actually took, um, took apart this big um, table, craft table that I had and got rid of it. And I, ever since I did that, I, my, it's been a lot harder for me to create because my stuff was just in boxes in, in a little storage area in the back. And, uh, so ordering the, the shelves and, uh, reorganizing my room, um, I've needed to do it for two years. <laughs> Isn't that horrible how things, things have just happened though, that have taken me away from crafting and, um, with my health and with things going on in my family, which family is always first with me. And, uh, so that's as it should be. And, uh, so anyway, it felt really good to finally, um, feel well enough to, <laughs> to order a couple bookshelves and put them together and have my room be functional again. I still have some organizing to do. Um, and I also want to go through my dies and kind of purge ones that I just don't feel I need anymore. Um, but you know, that's going to take time and probably won't happen until this summer. But, um, anyway, it feels good to at least have some functionality in my room. So I just wanted to show that to you guys really quick and, um, just, uh, say happy weekend. Uh, it's drawing to a close tonight and we're headed for a new week and I hope you all choose joy and have a good week. Um, God bless you all. Take good care. Bye now.